Tina and welcome to Church Sheet. I am so happy to have you here today. Today we have a great 30 minute boom walking video. I know many of you really enjoyed the last walking video and so I have another one set up for you today. 30 minutes, we're going all the way up. We are headed up Mount Kilimanjaro today. We're headed up from incline one all the way to 15, okay? Now, if you are unable to head that high, I don't want you to do anything that is going to be um, dangerous or anything that's going to be cause you injury. I want you just to work from one to the highest incline that you can go. If you don't have incline on your treadmill, just stay with us at your, at your highest, at your nice fast pace and just continue with us. Again, if for instance, you can only go to incline seven, that's what I want you to do. I do not want you to do something that, again, will cause injury or something that is um, dangerous to you when you feel like you're going to fall off, the fall off of the treadmill. I want you to be safe. I want you to get a great workout, um, all while doing the right thing, okay? I'm excited to have you here. I have my Tony bands with me again, one pounders, okay? And again, we're gonna get started with our warm up. With our pace, I'll tell you all about that as we begin. Let's get started with our five minute warm up. So I'm excited that you all enjoy these walking videos. So today we're gonna make sure we move those arms. Last time we were doing different um, arm movements. This time we're gonna, and we took them off towards the middle of it. But today we're gonna keep our weights with us. Like you may have hand weights that you have in your hand. You may not have anything, anything, but if you prefer, you don't have to have weights. It could be anything, whether it be cans that you have, anything at all to sort of have some resistance as you walk to get that strength in, okay? All right, so let's shrug those shoulders back. Now, for my walkers, I am going to have the your pace information up. There should be a box that pops up, and I want you to head to that if you don't know what your pace is supposed to be. We're going to be in between our baseline and our um, transition pace, which is different for runners. For runners, it, you're, it's your baseline is higher, baseline pace is higher, but for my walkers, your baseline pace is lower, okay? So make sure you click on that if you don't understand what that is, okay? But today, guys, we're gonna be between your baseline pace and your transition pace. So you know that transition pace is that pace where you're right before, right before you start jogging or running, okay? So it's that fast pace. It will be there as we are headed up. When we head up, higher up that mountain, okay, you may be going closer to your baseline pace, which is one mile per hour lower than your transition pace, okay? So remember, that transition pace is the pace that is right before you start running. So it's that pace where you're walking, walking, walking fast, and then you have to sort of pick up your feet. As, as your walker, that is your transition pace, and for runners, but the difference is for walkers, your baseline pace is 1.0 lower than your baseline pace, than your transition pace. So if you start, if your transition pace is going to be, um, is 3.5, your baseline pace is going to be 2.5, okay? And if you were a, a runner, it's 1.0 higher than that. So if your transition pace is 3.5, as a runner, you'd be at 4.5. Just in case you're running through this, just to let you know. But again, please, if you haven't already, pop on that um, box so that you know, the box that showed up a few seconds ago, all right? Are you ready for this? I'm excited. Make sure you are, you hydrate, you have your water, and make sure you have a towel to wipe off any sweat that may accumulate during this workout, okay? So, hydration is so important. I wanna make sure you're always doing that. <sighs> okay, I just want you to, anything that you may have gone through today, whatever's on your mind, I want you to let it go, to just take a deep breath in through your nose and not hard through your mouth, okay? so. Okay, breathe in and out. And if you are going through anything, I want you just to let that go and let these endorphins that we're about to, that are about to take over come in, just again, take over and to give you a more positive, joyful and joyful vibe, okay? I want this to be a great workout for you. I want you to really get in here and do it. I don't want you on here just doing this, unless you really want to. I want you in here Really, those arms at 80 degrees, I want you walking, have a great, having a great time. Now, like I said, we're gonna start off at incline one and work our way up to 15. We'll be at each, um, each thing for two minutes. So we'll be at incline 
one for one minute, then incline for two for one minute, and so on, okay? And again, we will be in between our baseline pace and right behind to our transition pace, okay? So not quite, so power walking, okay, today. If you have any injuries, I want you to look out. But of course, if you have injuries, you shouldn't be on here anyway. But if you're taking some, if you're taking it easy and gradually, gradually getting into walking, I just want you to take your time, okay? And I want you to watch and monitor your pace and have a good time with this, all right? So, gosh, the time goes by so quickly. In 40 seconds, we are done with our five minute warm up, okay? Now, if you feel like you need to stretch some more and get some good dynamic stretches in, I want you to pause me up. <laughs> this part, I was really corny, right? <laughs> you can pause me and, um, and just stretch some more and then play again and start with me, okay? All right, so again, we're gonna be 90 degree with our arms. These are one pound weights. Use whatever is right for you. You don't have to use weights. These are, these are just a suggestion, okay? And again, if you're interested, I'll leave the info below, all right? So, let's start. No, we're not running. <laughs> all right, so let's start. Be here for two minutes, all right? We are speed walking. We're feeling it. We're walking together up that mountain, going high, up into the clouds. The only thing, the best thing is there's no elevation issues, no temperature issues, just us doing our thing. All right? Two minutes each place. And again, when we get higher, we may not be going as fast, okay? So we're walking, enjoying it. All right. Watch that form, watch those shoulders. Now, another thing that we're gonna be going to be doing today is working on our glutes, okay? So our glutes help to keep our thighs forward and just give our body a lot of support, okay? So we're going to work on toning them throughout this workout. So what we'll do is we're going to squeeze and release. And I'll let you know when. We're not gonna keep it going, do that throughout the entire workout because that's not good, let me tell you why. That will, could cause some back and hip pain. If for instance you're holding onto your glutes the whole workout. You know some people walk and they clench their, their, their glutes the entire workout. That could lead to back and hip pain. We don't wanna do that. So we will tighten and release. Tighten and release. And I'll let you know exactly when to do that, okay? For now, we are headed to incline two. Let's go, two minutes. All right, feeling good. Enough to pump your arms. Feeling good. So again, you may be closer to that baseline pace. Um, depends on your comfort level. As long as you're, you're breaking sweat, you're feeling good, you're at a comfortable, yet not too just slow, but a nice, comfortable pace, all right? Where you feel like you are working. All right, feeling good. We are walking. Again, it's good to have these weights on. Or again, hand weights are just fine. Or even if you have some cans at your house. All right. One more minute here. We are going up high. All right, stay focused. Have a good time. Just think about your body just thanking you for moving. All right? moving we're doing it and in 35 seconds we're headed to incline three watch those arms feel it now when we work on that tightening we'll do that for about 30 seconds okay and again i'll let you know when 
but we will decrease the speed so we can do that. So we can squeeze and release those glutes, okay? Now, in five seconds, we're headed to incline three. Let's go. All right. Feeling it. We're doing it. Okay. Doing great. Now, let's take it down just a little bit just so that we can squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. And we're gonna start now. So we'll tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten, tighten. So tighten those glutes, tighten. As you walk. Tighten and release. Keep going. You feel it. And release. So we're not holding it. Just tighten it as you are. In two seconds. All right, good job. Let's increase that speed again. You feel those glutes working. Tight muscles. Good to, those glutes are like our engine. When you are walking on your own, you know, when you're on a treadmill, this treadmill is like your motor because it's really pushing you. But if you're out and about, your glutes do a great job supporting you. If you're running, walking, they're like your motor. They're the ones that keep you going. So keeping them strong is really important. Doing squats, because cardio alone is not gonna get you, like, you wanna get toned, work on different types of strength movements. It could be with your own body weight, but it's good to incorporate the both of them, strength and cardio. Together, that's when you're gonna see that change, okay? Strength and cardio. It doesn't have to be hours in each either. All right, in 10 seconds, we are headed up to incline four. Yes, headed up to the clouds, little by little. Let's go. And let's head to incline four. All right. When we get to incline five, we'll work on those glutes again, okay? Feeling good. Now remember, if you're unable to hit to incline 15, or if your treadmill doesn't go that high, you just go to the max. You just stick with us. You stick with the max that you can do. Okay? I'm here giving you guidelines. We're here doing this together. But I want you to always be safe. Alright, arms up. We're walking. Doing great. Feeling good. Walking uphill. Woo! In one more minute, we're headed to incline five. Let's go. Feeling it. So I'm recording this on, um, today's the 29th of December. 2020, one of the most craziest years. And um, I hope that um, there's so many people that are experiencing so many different things. And I hope that 2021 is better for all of us. I hope that you get stronger. And I hope that this year, 2020, made you stronger, made you realize how strong you are. Okay, so in 2021, let's look at getting stronger and stronger together. You let me know different things that you want to see that will help you along with your journey, okay? We're in this together. Of course we are. Come on now. Of course we're in this together. Let's head to Incline 5 with that said. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Now, we are going to tighten again. We're going to decrease that speed in about 20 seconds. And we are going to... Tighten and release. Tighten and release, okay? All right. Okay, let's start to decrease that speed. All right, decrease and tighten and release. Tighten, so you will clench and release. And release. It's like tightening each cheek. Feel that, right? 
Alright, tighten and release. Tighten and release. And release. Tighten. Good job. Alright, let's increase that speed again. Great job. Okay, now in 50 seconds, we're headed to incline six. Right now, hydrate at any time. You stop if you need to. Now, another thing I want to talk to you about is holding on. I do not want you doing this because you get hardly any benefits, calorie burn, all those other things, core, your core, you, you don't get it because you're holding on to this. It really damages what you're going to get from the workout. So if you feel like you need to hold on, maybe you need to decrease your speed so that you can hold on. Because when you're here, your, your, your core is being tightened. When you are working here, think of your core, you're tightening that core. When you hold on to this, it's like you see how the difference, you're just letting go. But when you're holding on, okay, let's go to incline six. You see the difference with your core engaged so you can get up that hill, okay? Now, again, if you feel like because of balance, you need to hold on, perhaps you need to just decrease the speed, okay, you need to just decrease it so you're more comfortable or take down the, the um, incline. Test out the speed first, okay? All right, we are headed up. You are looking good, you're looking so strong. I am too. Why, thank you. You shouldn't. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we're so silly. And we may lean forward. A lot of times we're, uh, when we are flat, we are upright. But we're up on that hill. You're going to have a, a, a lean. You're not like this. I don't want you like this. But up and you're really you're leaning forward. Okay? And with your hands. I didn't mention this before. Make sure you're not clenched. Your hands should not be tight. They should be very light, as if you're holding like little baby chips or something very delicate in your hands, okay? Holding your fist like this, making fists, just increases your blood pressure, okay? Just wasting energy. All right, now, in 40 seconds, we're headed to incline seven. Let's go. Let's go. You're in it. Let's go. Woo! And here, I'll let you know when we're gonna tighten again. Tighten and release. I'll let you know when, okay? Okay, in 10 seconds, head to seven. All right, let's go to incline seven. And you may again, your speed may come down because you're headed up high. We want you to be safe. You're getting a good workout in. All right, let's hydrate. And it's okay if you're gonna be doing something like this, of course to hold on if you need to for balance. I'm just telling you that I don't want you holding on to this for the entire workout doing this because it's as if you're doing nothing, okay? That's all. All right, so in five seconds, we're going to decrease. Let's decrease and tighten and release. Let's go. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten. Tighten and release. Good. And tighten. And tighten. Straightening those glutes to help our keep our glutes strong. Ten more seconds. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. And release. Take it and release. Good job. All right. Keep going. All right. 45 seconds. We're going to eight. We're reaching. We're getting to the clouds. All right. Let's go. Looking good. We are headed up. Headed up high. Looking good. All right. Good. 20 seconds. We're headed to eight. You're strong. Got it. Walking together, getting stronger together. 
in 10 seconds. Let's go. Incline eight. In four, three, two, and one. Incline eight. Woo! Yes! We are climbing. Stairway to heaven. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Great. Great job. All right. Keep going. Stay focused. Doing great. Doing good. All right, one more minute here, then we're headed to nine. Awesome job. Yes. Let's keep moving. We're going up. Again, we're leaning forward now, because we're going up high. It's okay to get that, that lean. It's completely normal. Just keep those arms 90 degrees. We are working, headed up high, taking advantage of the great things that this treadmill can do for us. Incline is so great for those, that lower body and that core too, because you feel it tightening as you're holding on here. All right? All right, great job. Let's go, incline nine. Looking great. Woo! Great job. Doing it. Now, we're going to decrease that speed again. And we're going to tighten. And I'll let you know when. Okay? Breathe. Keep breathing. Looking good. We are strong. We've got this. Again. You feel like you can't hold, if you cannot not do this without um, walk, without holding on, and I want you to decrease your speed. Decrease it. All right. Now, in 10 seconds, we're going to tighten. We're going to start to decrease it. Okay? And let's go. Tighten and release. 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 Tighten. Good job. 20 seconds. And release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Great job. Tighten and release. All right. And release. Doing great. Five more seconds. And release. And release. Great job. All right. Now we're walking. We're climbing. Great job. In 20 seconds, we're headed to what? Incline 10. All right. Great job. 10 seconds. Woo! You are killing it. Let's go. Incline 10. Great job. We're breathing. Breathe. Breathe. Deep breath in through your nose and out hard through your mouth. Okay. Doing a great job. We're climbing. Great job. Stay focused. And remember to give your counsel some space. You do not need to be all the way up on it. Give it some space. Great job. Great. Stay focused. We're strong. We're strong. Still light on your feet. Great job. 
All right. We are headed up. In one more minute, we're headed to 11. We're almost at the top. Can you feel the elevation issues? No? Good. Because that would be a problem. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Great job. We are headed up. Heart rate is higher. All right. 35 seconds. We're headed to 11 and almost at the top. You are doing a great job. Breathe. Breathe. All right. Good job. Right. Breathe. 10 more seconds. We're headed up to 11. We're working. Three, two, one. All right. Hand on 11. We're forward. We're doing great. We're forward. We're not slouching over though, okay? If you need to decrease, if you feel like, oh, my posture, you do that. Working, working. Uphill, feeling good. We are going to work on tightening, okay? In 10 seconds. So for these, I do want you to hold on, okay? And ready, let's go. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Hold. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Light on here, not gripping onto it, okay? So just light on those bars. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Good job. Tighten and release. Good job. And release. Five more seconds. Release. And release. And release. Great job. All right, just that we're just holding on, just touching it, just for balance. Good job. Great job. Let's keep walking. Doing great. Now, in 20 seconds, we're headed to 12. Woo! Great job, we're doing it. We are almost at the top. I'm proud of you, sticking with it, you got it. Okay, keep pushing. Climbing that hill, climbing this mountain. All right, let's go. Incline, tw incline 12, no, incline 12. Great job. Hydrate, hold on. Great job. All right. Great job. You're doing it. 13, 14, 15, and done. Okay? Stick with me. Great job. Looking good, looking strong. These wrists, these are so um helpful to have. It's convenient. All right, in a minute and five seconds. We're going up. All right, almost there. Great job. Great job. I think we're on here for a minute longer. That's okay though, right? All right. All right, let's keep pushing. Now incline, 13, it's coming up. In 20 seconds, stay with me. We're sweating, we are working. All right, feel that burn. Five seconds. 
Okay, let's head to incline. 13. Woo! Great job. We are headed up. You're breathing. You're working hard with me. We are working. All right. Now, we are going to be tightening those glutes again here. I'll let you know when. In about, in about 20 seconds. Okay? Stay focused. We're almost at the top. Woo! 30 minutes, climb. 30 minute climb. We're focused, we're strong. Watch your shoulders, loosen them up. All right, let's go. Let's increase and tighten. Up, good job. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. release. And release. And release. Good job, release. And release. And release. And release. 10 more seconds. And release. And release. And release. Four more seconds. And release. And release. And release. Good job. All right. Let's keep going. All right. We are headed up. Only two more left. Okay. Woo! Great job! I'm so proud of you! You're almost at the top! Thank you for joining me. We're almost there. We climbed together. We are killing it on Mount Kilimanjaro. Let's go. Five seconds. We're headed up. We're breathing. All right, let's go. In, climb, 14. What? Yes. Now, if you need to decrease, because you're like, whoa. I don't usually go this high. You decrease that speed, okay? It's okay. I want you to be intentional about your steps, okay? Great job. You feel that burn. Watch your posture. Again, you are forward, okay? Because you are so, so high up. All right. Doing great. Almost there. Don't touch my ceiling. <laughs> okay. A minute and 10 seconds, and we are headed to the summit. Okay. Great job. Great job. Feel that burn. Together, light hands, light shoulders, working that core, force tight. We are showing, and if we're walking, we're working hard. Some people think that when you're walking, oh, you're not doing, you are working, especially if you're using your incline. See, I'm sweating. You guys have seen my running videos. You see me sweat. <laughs> you still sweating here, I'm working. All right, great job. So proud of you. Okay, keep going. Now, 10 seconds. We are headed to 15. Yay! All right, three, two, and one. Yes, we're here. Last two minutes. Let's make it strong. We are working. Almost there. This is gonna make incline one feel like nothing. Let's stay focused. All right? Great job. Okay. I'm not gonna have you work on your glutes here. We're gonna stay focused on being intentional about our steps. Okay? Intentional. If you want, you pull back tight. Pull back. All right. Doing a great job. High. Head it up. All right. Great job. One more minute. 
All right. I'm proud of you. And it's fine. If you're like at the ones, 1.8, 1 1.7, 1 you're at 815. Okay? We are working. All right. We are almost there. Stick with me, okay? 35 seconds. And done. Woo! 25 seconds. All right. Be intentional about each step you take. Yes. Those arms. Big job. 10 seconds. And we're headed back down to one. So we can cool down. Three, two, and one. Woo! We got one, guys. Woo! Great job. High five. Woo! We did it. Okay. Walk as we head down. All right. Great job. We worked. I'm sweating. I am sweating. We worked hard, and I hope you enjoyed this with me. Got that heart rate up, feeling good. And again, you know, I love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think. Share with others, okay? All right. Whew. Great job. And we are down. Yes. Back down to flat land. All right. Let's get that heart rate down. Let's hydrate. I'm so proud of you. Great job. No matter what, whether you went in 15 with me, if you had to stop um, less in the editing plan that was less, it doesn't matter. You were with me. Phenomenal job. Proud of you. For all those that were with me at 15, woo! Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Proud of you. Keep up the great work, okay? Awesome. All right. Whew. Now, I want you just to let your arms just leave them down on your side. Whew. And breathe. Breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Excellent job today. Think about the hard work you put into today's being at that incline. It's seeming like, oh man, this is gonna last forever. But it did it, and we're done, and you did it, okay? Woo! That was good. Great job again. So proud of you. All right. Breathe. Good. We did it. Whatever. Whatever day you had. Whether if you had a fantastic day and this is making even more, making it even more fantastic. Yes. If your day was like, oh, there's so much stuff going on. I'm, I hope this class was able to have you leave it all back there, okay? And just go forward with more joy and positivity. Remember to choose joy and never let anyone steal that from you, okay? All right, Whew. now I'm gonna take these off so we can get some good stretches in. We're gonna get those static stretches in today. Thank you again for working out with me. I always enjoy having you here with me to know as I record these that you are on the other end when I get these uploaded. I love just the thought of knowing that you're watching and get this done and we're doing this together, all right? All right. Whew, shrug those shoulders back, back, and back. Feeling good, Woo. All right, let's twist. The other way. All right. All right, let's stop in about 20 seconds. That felt good. I hope you enjoyed it, okay? And um, it may be, you may have known this already, but I have a Couch to 5K. If you're interested in starting to run, I have a Couch to 5K. It'll take you from 
um, jogging, running, and walking, all the way up to uh, from about 5K, to so the journey to 5K that will be coming out soon, if not, if it's not out already. Okay, so let's stretch, okay? Let's get that um, leg up, that hold on to your, sorry, hold on to your foot here, and try to make sure it leads together. Okay, you can feel the stretch walk. When you're out like this, you don't really feel it, but with time, if you have a hard time, um, with your flexibility, with time it will happen. Try to get those close together. Okay. Good job. Feel that. Mm. All right. prevent injury. Never just finish your workout and go on along with your day. Make sure you cool, you warm up, and you cool down. It's so important for you. Okay, let's just shrug your shoulders back again. And great job again, guys. Thank you for joining me on this walk. Stay away to heaven. Stay way up Mount Kilimanjaro. Thank you for joining me. Okay, again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with others. And remember, with every step that you take, spread more love joy and positivity. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!